this is a brief translation of the prophetic warning that Thanasis, one of my disciples, gave. Here goes a short version of this. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of my insight into this and also for your understanding. The thing is, the Lord said, and we have experienced it to be true, that since the beginning of the new decade of the 20s, which practically by now means as we got into the coronavirus pandemic, there was an invitation by the Lord for his people to enter the promised land, leaving behind the times when our life was more like in a desert. Now, on that basis, Thanasis says that even though currently we have experienced a breakthrough into the promised land, even though we are walking in the promised land and making advancement, however, there is a serious warning that there is a trap that is set ahead of us, a trap that is meant to stop us from completely conquering the promised land and making all the advancement that we are called to make in possessing the Lord's inheritance in the land of the living. Uh, please understand, I am adding words that Thanasis did not say for clarity, but I know what he knows, and his words were concise, but he said things which were in reference to things which I have explained prophetically, and that's why now I am doing a amplified version for better understanding. There is a moment, there is a timing of separation right now. And when I say right now, I'm not really sure when it began, but for sure, as we are in December of 2021, there is no doubt that we are in a moment of separation. Moment, well, these kind of moments can be weeks or months long. One way of saying moment here, it's, it's a season, it's a spiritual season of separation. More likely, I would say it was the mark of the year 2021, a year of separation, separation within the body of Christ, separation between people who walk with God, as it were, but in fact, in daily life, their walk takes them farther and farther away from the person of God, the person of God in Jesus, as Jesus is God personified. Now, Thanasi says that the way to move forward, which means also to come closer to Jesus, is through a heart of worship. However, it's not enough to have a heart of worship, and that is the main warning he gave. Actually, we need to guard our heart of worship because it's the only way we can be on the right path coming closer to Jesus and at the same time making advancement in the land of the living to enjoy the promises of God and that's the breakthrough he referred to because if we do not guard a heart of worship we may be under the impression that we are walking with God. We may be under the impression that we are making advancement in the promised land. However, the reality will turn out to prove that unless we have guarded a heart of worship, what happened to us is we actually drifted farther and farther away from the person of Jesus, from walked away from a personal relationship whereby we really walk with him and he is with us and his voice guides us, his voice instructs us, his voice corrects us, his voice sanctifies us. Unless we have guarded the heart of worship, we will have fallen in the trap, which eventually will show that one day we have drifted so far away from the person that we no longer have the voice. Now, obviously, Thanasis didn't say all of these details, but the gist of it is there with additional words of explanation for clarity. 
Now, I want to bless you in the name of the Lord, and I pray that all of us, we shall be found to have guarded a heart of worship, which is always very important for discovering the person of Jesus and staying close to him. But as Thanasi said, particularly during this season, because of the trap, which he did not name, we do not know the details of the trap, there is a high risk that we may lose track of the path that we are walking on. It may no longer be the right path to the person of Jesus. Now, I have my own understanding or my own impression as to what the trap is. Anasis did not make any mention, but in my understanding, this trap has to do with the standard issue which is at work within the body of Christ. And there is a general term for it. It's the spirit of the world, but I will not expound on it. Let me just say, as we guard our heart of worship, let's make sure we do not get trapped or sidetracked by the spirit of the world which is at work, even within the church, if we are not careful.